Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market prep video for June 25th, 2020. So yesterday we saw those bears reemerge as we started to become concerned once again about the coronavirus uh, that is spiking around the country. As a matter of fact, they are, well, at the end of the day yesterday, they reported over 35,000 new cases were reported. This morning, they're saying that number is 45,500. So I don't know which number is correct, but certainly a tremendous spike. One is the a, one is a record high of infections um one is the second uh to the <laughs> closest record high so um let's just say it's not good um overall so as this coronavirus spikes back up there's some issues um, beginning to brew out there and certainly some concern here in the market um, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we just kind of buckle up, get ready for another day of volatility, and let's prepare for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we've got kind of a, a an uncertain situation. We have uh, uh, virus numbers spiking. We have a presidential election that is starting to sway to uh, to the Biden pre presidency, which uh, may not be favorable for the market. And we're starting to see those bears stir around here. And it also happens to be that period of time where we may be reaching the end of the quarter. And after an extraordinary rally, we could be seeing institutions, 401k plans, things like that, trying to rebalance, shift things around and um, could be a, a move toward a little bit more safety. Kind of an interesting situation that we face here and certainly volatility has raised its ugly head again. So let's take a look at what that means technically in the charts. Well, when I take a look at the diamonds, one of the first things I wanna point out here and, and see is that we created a lower high and we also created a lower low yesterday. So even though that's just a marginal lower high, um, there are some um, concerns with that. We are currently um, in a downtrend. However, on the longer term, we're just right now down here testing the uptrend here in the Dow. So this is one of those charts that could really go either direction. And I'll tell you this, that I don't think we're gonna see major selling unless we break down below this low here. If we start cracking down below there, we could have some problems in the market and really see sellers coming in strong. Let's take a look. Right now this morning, we're looking at a very small gap down. We may test the low of yesterday at the open. And we have a big day of data that could move us around a little bit as well. So. Are things bad? Well, we have some concerns there, but we certainly um, also have some positives that we might be able to hang our hat on. And I don't suspect the bulls are gonna give up easily. They have been able to manipulate the market higher by really pressing the big five. And even here in the Dow, if they can move Apple and Amazon or Apple and Microsoft higher, we have the potential that the Dow could find some support right in here. So let's keep an eye on that. We I don't think we're gonna see any significant sell-off until we start to see some significant profit taking in those big five companies, Apple, Microsoft, Google, um, Facebook. Um, and Amazon, if we start seeing some profit taking coming in those and that NASDAQ, which has been leading the market to new record highs, um, if they start selling, we could have a significant profit taking sell off. So watch this carefully. Let's take a look at our moving averages here really quickly. Um, we uh, officially failed the 200 day moving average here once again and dropped back down below the um, the uh, 500 day. I think there is a high probability in the very near future we will test this 50 day moving average as support. The question is going to be will we hold it or will we drop through and that will be that will be the question that we'll have to address but 
um, I suspect we're going to see that 50 day moving average here in the near future. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY um, also has that little teeny tiny lower high here. We, we dropped in and failed that lower um, high level, but we are holding above our 200 day moving average and we closed yesterday above that. So even though we have that failure, we have that little downtrend going on in play here. We still have the price support of this low holding that 200 day and we have the 50 day moving average just a little bit lower. Now, if I take a look at the longer term trend on this, we're starting to show, well, depending on how you draw that, we're starting to show a little bit of a challenge here to that trend so keep an eye on that um, so far we're hanging in but once again if those if those big five tech stocks really start seeing some profit taking that's where the problem will come in um, into the market I believe because that big five tech compromise or uh, is is 20% of the S&P 500 now just five companies 20% of the S&P 500 so if they start to sell off we could see some problems here now I fully suspect that we um, are going to test that 50-day moving average here in the near future so let's watch that close if we happen to fail that level that's where the real challenges could come in to the market and I think if we drift down through that 50 you could see we could easily come back down into that 500 day moving average here on the chart so keep a close eye on that that could be a significant move if that occurs and a problem for the market <clears throat> Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ is what has been the market leader here and we're holding well above um, this breakout support level. So no particular worries there. But what we did do um, is we left behind this evening star pattern that is a reversal pattern here in the for the market but you also have to look at the fact that we managed to hold above this little support area of that consolidation so so far not a a devastating blow by any means but we do have that little warning of that bearish or that bearish pattern which is that evening star pattern at a high so let's watch that close follow through selling if we were to break this support and really start pushing down that would be a problem but i don't think we're going to get into a real critical situation unless we fail this breakout high if we pull back in the queues and hold on to that i think we're in good shape but if we fail that breakout high watch for a quick test of that 50-day moving average if that were to occur Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also um, struggling here. As you can see, we failed at the 500 day. We failed at the 200 day. And this little rally back right in here just couldn't get her done. And now we've made a lower low here on that move. So here again, we are in that situation where our longer term trend is still trying to hang on. And we're that's why I said oh, I don't expect those bear or bulls to give up easily here. We're trying to hold on, even though we are getting a little bit of gap down this morning. And I think we run the risk here in IWM probably faster than the other indexes of a test of that 50 day moving average and this little support level. I think that could come pretty quickly. IWM has been really underloved and um, can could draw us or even pull us down into that area. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. And this is where we have that concern coming in where we're, we're starting to fire up on that fear again, that uncertainty in the market. And we've broken the downtrend and we're now holding that downtrend here as a level of support. Uh, yesterday cracked cracking back above that 50 day moving average um, in the VIX. So a little bit of concern, but I think more importantly than those averages, if we take a look at um, some support and resistance levels here in the chart, we are still holding below this little resistance level that I've got drawn in here on the chart. We're holding below that, but we're still hanging on to this higher low. So I don't think we got a, a really great indication of a huge 
um, fear spike just yet, but it could come at any time. So if we can, if we hold that higher low, there's that possibility, guys, that we could consolidate in this little area. And it's only going to be if that fear really cranks up, if we really see those virus numbers start to affect the psychology of the market then we could see that fear really begin to break out of that level so let's watch that close let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and yesterday that four week new high new low ratio uh, zoomed all the way down here into the bearish reversal zone that gives us some hope anyway of a bounce back <clears throat> so we may get a gap down this morning right now dow futures are down 244 points so we're going to get that gap down it looks like this morning depending on how all of these um, economic reports come in but um that gives us that indication that we could find those buyers here um, after that point and start rallying back up. But remember, we have seen those times, and it wasn't that long ago, this was the virus situation that created this, where we went down here, bounced up slightly, and then we came back down here and stayed here for a while. So keep that in mind. We could see that bounce come up, but that doesn't mean a rally all the way back up, just a little bit of a relief to, uh, to squeeze out some of those those short traders um, and have some short profit taking come in and then we could turn and come right back down into this area so keep that in mind a little bit of concern going on here in the market let's take a look at um, um, our economic calendar for today and we do have a very very busy economic calendar today that could move us around significantly what's been interesting about the economic calendar is we have been able to literally ignore any bad news in the market so perhaps we do the same thing um, uh, today we just ignore but I think with a COVID thing spiking up any bad news could be um, a problem for the market. So we've got durable goods. Now, durable goods consensus is expecting a big increase um, over last month. So watch that closely. Unfortunately, GDP is not looking for much of an improvement um, in the consensus numbers. So let's watch that. If it does happen to improve, the market will re probably respond bullishly to that. If it if it slips a little worse, that could be a problem. International trading goods, kind of expecting a, a mediocre to not so good, maybe a little tiny improvement in um, international trading goods. And then we have that pesky jobless claims. They're expecting about 1.3 million people filed for unemployment. Remember, they were expecting that last week as well, and it actually bumped up to 1.5, and the market didn't like that very much. So let's watch that if we get an improvement yeah, over that 1.3, we could be in pretty good shape. Let's keep in mind, after that point, we have several Fed speakers. We have a natural gas report. I don't expect too much of this to move the market around. And then later on today, the Fed balance sheet. So something to watch for, but a busy day on that economic calendar to uh, make note of. And then if we w take a look at our earnings calendar, we have our biggest day of earnings today. Um, this week, tomorrow it drops to eight. Today we have, um, what was that number again? We have about 26 companies reporting and a few notables here uh, to pay attention to. Let's take a look. Uh, Darden Restaurants, uh, DRI, will be reporting this morning. Looks like they're maybe moving up just slightly here this morning. Um, so take a look at Darden. Now, one thing I would say is we have broken the uptrend here and we are still in a downtrend. So we're going to need some kind of good push to break that break that downtrend um, as resistance. So keep an eye on Darden um, out there. We have FDS. FDS um, could be reporting today. So keep an eye on, uh, we'll be reporting today. Keep an eye on this. We've had some kind of technical breakdowns here with a lower high pattern here on that chart, but certainly something to watch around an earnings event. Um, MKC, a good old defensive sector stock, 
um, McCormick. And it looks like McCormick is trying to move a little bit higher here this morning. Here's that downtrend. And in that chart, we have a significant level of support right in here. And if we push off of that, that defensive sector stock may be a place to look in this turmoil in the market. Keep in mind, it has a pretty decent dividend yield. So might be something to keep an eye on. RAD, RAD is also reporting this morning. Looks like it's gapping significantly higher here this morning. Um, that will break its downtrend. And if it can hold above that downtrend, there may set up an opportunity here for a higher low and an uptrend to resume in Rite Aid. And the last one I'm going to talk about this morning is Nike. Nike will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Nike has been challenged by this major resistance up here, struggling along. So we need a good report here in Nike to maybe push us out. Otherwise, we might see Nike slip just a little bit. And right here, uh, Nike's indicating um, maybe just a tiny, tiny bit higher this morning. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you feel the video was at all worthy, Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. And I just want to say thank you so much to those of you who do that. You're continuing to have this channel grow. And I'm truly, truly humbled by that. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. You know, the purpose of this channel, the whole purpose of this channel is just traders helping traders. Um, no hype, no prediction, just really taking a look at the price action, the technicals and how we may uh, want to approach the day. And if you find that useful, please, please subscribe. I, I truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, things we might want to be watching for. But I got to tell you, it's going to be a little bit more challenging today to find those good technical patterns for potential long trades. I don't know that I'd want to chase a short today. I'm chasing a short after uh, a Dow sell-off of 710 points. I'm not sure I'd want to chase a short. Uh, the, um, that might be a little bit of a problem. We probably need to bounce back before we get short. So a few long trades to maybe keep an eye on. BBY, BBY actually held up very, very well yesterday. Um, we tried to break through. You see, I have an alert here. We broke through that. We pulled back here just a little bit yesterday. Keep an eye on Best Buy. Best Buy is holding up quite well. If there's that possibility that the bulls step in, we may bounce off of that, run up here and attack these all-time highs. And Best Buy, keep an eye on that. It's holding up pretty well. You know, you guys know that I have been a holder of, of gold. Gold um, popped out. Um, breaking a major resistance and popping up to a new high and then saw a little bit of pullback yesterday but I'm holding this as a longer term hold I just really believe that all of this money printing that we're doing is going to have a negative effect on the market and so far that trade has played out exceptionally well <clears throat> but I I do have this trade hedged with a short call as well up here um, on that position. So right now, as long as we hold above this level of support, I'm good on this trade. And what I would suggest is if you are interested in a trade like this, what you'd want to do is wait until we either pull back and test that trend or consolidate over to the trend and wait for that next entry signal. I would not want to chase. Also want to remind everyone that I am holding this once again, and that means I may have a bias on the trade. So Kind of keep that in mind every time i post or show of a, um, a chart in these videos it's not necessarily a recommendation to buy or sell anything it is uh, just something to look at those technical patterns help you decide whether or not that might be something for you so make sure you do your due diligence on these trades let's take a look at oracle oracle Kind of interesting here, Oracle has broken its downtrend, had a good earnings report, <clears throat> broke its downtrend, and yesterday we pulled back a little bit, kind of responding to the market. But I gotta tell you guys, this move here is not an exceptionally strong pullback. So if we can find some price support in here or even off of that downtrend, watch Oracle, there may be an opportunity here. I was watching this for a potential short, but that earnings came in good, popped up, 
and now we're holding some support levels up here might be worth keeping an eye on Oracle other places you might look you might look um, you know to silver silver pulled back yesterday pretty strong and it will move more with the market than typically gold will and that's just because it has more industrial uses than gold does but keep an eye on silver if we're going to see precious metals creep up we might also see silver creep up if you take a look at copper copx copper miners they are holding up in a nice strong trend and one of the things that may kind of spur this along is if we are going to see these big trillion dollar packages for infrastructure um, investments into the country to try and help stimulate the market a little bit we could see copper move up because of demand on copper if we do those infrastructure improvements so keep an eye on uh, that another one too maybe watch is this fastenal now fastenal struggled here we could have a double top high here but yesterday's pullback wasn't extraordinarily strong if it can find some support in here and bounce back up it might be worth keeping an eye on so keep keep that one on your list at least for a while let's see where that might go and if you like tech you might want to keep a keep an eye on like um, nvidia nvidia pulled back just marginally yesterday you can see it's been in this really struggling rally going on but that pullback didn't break any support and it really didn't break the trend so if the bulls step up here in nvidia that might be an opportunity for an entry so keep a close eye on those hey everyone i want to wish you all a great day and you know what these coronavirus numbers um really starting to spike up please Please exercise safety. Keep yourself safe. Um, protect your family. Protect yourself. And I want to see you right back here, you know, bright and early Friday morning. So uh, stay healthy. Everyone, take care of yourselves. Have a great day. And we'll see you Friday morning. Have a good one.